Um, from participating in the Stop the Joke campaign, I learned a lot. I learned to be who I am. I learned to have a youth voice to speak loudly against what I don't believe in. And I actually learned a lot of things such as, you know, we do trainings about professionalism and we learn a lot of things, a lot of the stuff that's going on with politics and how to, you know, how the billing process go with getting bills passed and things of that nature. Um, I learned that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. I learned to actually speak in front of people. I was very afraid to speak in front of the public, in front of um, the community, period. I think that's the, the best add-on to my life that has ever happened. Um, during the campaign, one thing that I thought I would never do was speaking in front of a huge crowd. Um, I say this because as a young child, I always had stage frights and um, speaking and fears of speaking in public. I don't think I would have, like I've spoken to in front of a lot of people um, at the rally, which was very nerve wracking. It was, I was very scared. Um, and that was like my first time ever doing it and I just started clear and they just pushed me right into it. But I'm glad for them doing that. To actually sit in a meeting with a senator and have her undivided attention, she was listening to what it was that I was saying. When I went up to Annapolis and spoke in front of the Bill and Tax Committee, um, I think that changed a lot. Uh, it was a lot of emotion in the room. Um, it was a lot, a lot of people ooing and I. I was sitting in here. I had a senator hearing me out, you know, trying to get them to understand our philosophy or how it is that we would like things to be done. And she actually took a liking to what we were saying. Actually sitting at the round table or square table, who, whatever you want to call it, there's different types of tables. And actually making decisions, I felt as though my thoughts and opinions were valued. It was actually, it was actually a sort of emotion in me that changed me. It made me feel as though that speaking, my speaking can change a lot of things. It feel good when you explain to somebody what it is that you do or why it is that we're coming to you with these postcards trying to get you to sign. Like when you explain that to people, they be, oh wow, you know, you know what, you guys, you keep doing what you're doing. Like that's the thing that I'm most proud of, like how people see us for the work that we do and the difference that we're trying to make. I'm most proud of the hard work and the dedication that the CAL members have gave us, that, uh, that the CAL members have done and the great job we have done. I'm just grateful that everybody came together and did what they had to do to stop this youth jail. Because if we haven't worked as a team, if we haven't involved the community, if we haven't, you know, respect each other, respected each other, then it would have not um, come to this, which is victory. We won, you know. We are the champions. <laughs>